Arkady has been home to the wonderful Bowser family for generations. Since the early 1990s, they've been running the Argety Red Kite project. Red Kite had been persecuted to extinction in England and Scotland, but were successfully reintroduced from 1989 in one of the longest running conservation projects of its kind, led by veteran rewilder Roy Dennis and the RSPB. A lot of people ask me how I go about filming certain species and where I go to get them. So I thought, why don't you just come along with me? So today, you're joining me at Argety Red Kites. Red Kite, by Noman Milvus Milvus, are a Schedule 1 listed bird, and it is estimated that the UK now has 4,600 breeding pairs. There's a few birds out there. It's going to be feeding time in just a few minutes, so I'm going to go about showing you how I film them, various settings and things like that. They eat mostly carrion and worms, which is why they respond so well to being fed in this way. But notice how small the rations are for such a large roost. This is so important. It's essential that the birds do not come to rely on human assistance. So this is just a snack. So my friend Lynn has just walked out now and just thrown some food out for them. Ooh, yep. Yeah. They're getting very active, a lot more calling now. Red kite typically weigh 800 to 1300 grams, have a wingspan of 175 to 195 centimeters, and are between 60 and 66 centimeters in length. They are gloriously colorful birds, known for their distinctive reddish-brown body, forked tail, and angled wings of black, gray, cream, and white, with yellow legs, and hooked black and yellow beak. These incredibly agile and graceful birds have an average lifespan of 10 years. The basic kit that I'm using here, I'm using a Panasonic Lumix GH5S. It films in 4K, but the real reason that I use it so often is because it's quite lightweight, so it's easy to carry around with me when I'm filming wildlife. But it also shoots in super slow motion, which is why I love it, because it's great for filming raptors and other fast-paced action. They're really, really quick. They build their nests 12 to 20 feet off the ground in the main fork of a large tree, mostly from twigs, grass and wool. This will be added to with an array of found oddments, including rags and paper. A nest can grow quite large over successive breeding seasons. It's slowed down a little bit. They, they really rush in for the food for the first couple minutes and then it slows down and they, they just circle above. One to four eggs may be laid at intervals during April, and females will incubate their eggs for over 30 days. The male will feed her so she doesn't need to leave the nest. He will also feed the chicks when they arrive for a further two weeks. Once they can feed themselves, the female can join the male in scavenging until the chicks are ready to fledge in 48 to 50 days time. Kite are attentive parents and will continue to watch over their brood for 20 days after fledging. Visitors to Argety can also delight in a thriving red squirrel population. And a host of woodland birds. Back in 2021, Argety was an obvious choice to reintroduce beaver as well. And they are doing brilliantly in the capable and caring hands of the Bowsers. I love filming red kites, um, I never get bored of it. Um, so I've moved down here because I can get really nice shots of the birds against the sky. As I was saying in the hide before, um, they usually do their feeding in a couple of stages. So they, it's like a big feeding frenzy, they're all diving into the meat. 
then it all calms down a bit, then they fly away. Sometimes they, like they have right now, they fly into the trees. That's given me time to come down here and set up because what I really want to see is some shots of the birds diving for the meat um, with some lovely sky behind them. Um, it's raining just at the moment, so keep my fingers crossed it'll brighten up by the time the kites want their second meal. They're congregating again, so I'm just going to get set up um, so I can get them diving. It's a perfect location for photographers and filmmakers. Footage captured here today will be perfect for our latest feature. But more importantly, the Bowsers are providing an invaluable educational resource for schools and families. It's a brilliant day out and you're guaranteed a warm welcome.